Another day in Lake Erie, another day walleye fishing. What do we not have? We don't have Country Steve. Where's Country Steve? Country Steve's on probation, he's in his own boat. You saw what he did last time, he lost lots of fish. So it's all gonna be on me today. We're gonna talk to you. Camera guy's gonna talk to me, maybe. I need to hear something else going on, but. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, but we don't even like each other. But he didn't lose any fish like Country Steve, so join us. We're going walleye fishing again. I feel a little sad country Steve's not here, but you know, I just think back to all those big fish he lost and I'm like, whatever. We just need the camera guy. <laughs> what does the camera guy think about that? I mean you saw him lose him too. It was uh, it was bad. I don't I don't know if you saw the comment on YouTube, it said these guys lose a lot of fish. Yeah, well not these guys. <laughs> not these guys. Uh, Bob one two three, uh, uh, you know, fish killer sixty nine, you know, not that. That was country Steve, not me. You know, this world is really jacked up. I'm glad I fish for a living. I can't even go to Costco without having crazy. The girl took chick, she literally took the chicken away. I felt like I was in Russia or something. Had a lady like, you know, fighting for toilet paper. It's like, come on, man. Really? I'm glad to be in a boat for a living, I tell you that. Honey, we're home. Some crankbaits in my pants, literally, and ripping rip crankbait hooks out. But we're gonna little hodgepodge cranks and see how we can kind of narrow this down. There's fish kind of spread out everywhere, but we got a, kind of a two-stage plan today. So, number one, run some crankbaits. Whoa, 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 whoa. Honestly, I know people are thinking, hey, just turn the handle, that's how you catch these fish. And I can tell you, I promise you, as a guy who guides a lot, a lot of people, a lot of people that fish, a lot of people that don't fish, you don't want to get in a hurry when you're winding these things in. Like this thing right now is going berserko, and you just got to let him do his thing. Enjoy the fight, man, because if you don't, you're going to lose him. Just ask Country Steve. Slam four. <laughs> like this is a heck of a nice fish, and this was our deeper one. Now this is a big one. Oh boy, he may come off, barely hooked. We would be netting if we were fishing for money or somebody else, but whatever. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, he's, oh, I can't even get my hands around this girl. <laughs> and just barely, barely hooked. So there's a prime example of, we've been catching some nice fish, but look at that big old fatty. That's a nice and little female there, probably about 25 inches. Gotta let this fat, chunky mama go. And that was, kind of near those marks that we saw down deeper. So we've only had a few bites on those lines compared to the other stuff, but guess what? They were those picture taker marks. A little funny story for you. It's by my lucky board right there. See that flag? Seagull pooped on it. Seagull poop right there, ate that, ate that right away. True story. My lucky board. Every time I catch a big one, I look over, poop flag. Look at this, El Prego right here. Oh boy. <laughs> I mean, dude, seriously, look at that. Look at that fish. We, we are blessed we have a healthy population. Lake Erie, next decade, hello somebody. Shameless plug number two, come fish with a Big Water Guide Service, bigwaterfishing.com. Wait, there's more. When we started this dumpster fire this morning, we talked about, like, why are we doing what we're doing? Honestly, you can do a lot of stuff, but it's tough to beat cranks because we're not going to catch the little fish. You know, we did catch one. You, you guys saw that, but we're not going to catch, you know, a pile of those things, number one. Number two, we're going to cover water and find these hot pods. I mean, that's solid, solid, solid fish. I mean, during this apocalypse deal, these fish did not get the memo that, um, you know, Dexatrim was in full effect. Jenny Craig was up in this Dexatrim. thing. Yeah, that's, I'm going old school for, I'm, hey, all you old guys out there, I'm doing this for your old school. Jenny Craig, what else do you got? 
Jazzercise, yeah, I made a comment one of the, one of the hook shots a little long time ago about Weight Watchers hasn't hit Michigan yet, and I got a lot of hate mail for that, <laughs> literally. But whatever. All right, dude, we got one more rod out, one more fish. This is crazy, crazy fishing. I can't tell you how important it is. You know, days like today just they don't happen by accident very often. To find these fish, you really got to mark them. Like right now, you know, we're seeing a couple fish on the screen, but where we're catching all these fish, we're not seeing anything because the water is so clean and that cone is so small because these fish are high. This is really, really, really important. It's the most important thing of this is, you know, I'm marking these at speed as we ran here. I saw a handful of fish up really high and we stopped. We stopped way short of where we've been fishing because you're not going to see those fish. The only way to know that those fish are there is at high speeds, running across top of them with the hummingbird or putting lures through them and running through them. And I don't know about you, I'd rather run through them with 25, 30 miles an hour with a hummingbird than try to fish through them at one or two miles an hour. Oh, looky, looky. This crankbait got some nooky. Oh, hooked right in the side now too. That's part of it right there. All the other hooks ripped out. Only got one left in the meat. Ooh wee. I guess if you put a hook on my side, I'd be pretty upset about life. And you know, there's a good example too. One little other trick I do with the crankbait deal is I swap a lot of my hooks out. You're gonna find a lot of companies, the hooks that come on the bait are terrible. This is a really good crankbait tip for you. And I like to swap those out with Gamagatsu hooks. So like on the bait we're using right now, I've got 2X Gamagatsu round bends because that's the exact identical match. It's really important when you switch those hooks out that you don't get them that are heavier or lighter because it'll throw the action of that bait off. And then there are other baits like the Reef Runner. We've been catching some on the 44 Mag Reef Runner. And I really like that hook. They've got that kind of old school uh, triple grip style setup and they really, really are a good hookup bait. They're unique, unique hook. We've been just catching the fire out of them on this new bait. They're hardly even on the, on the market yet. But I carry extra ones with me. I believe that's a size four because they get they do get torn up. So have some extra hooks with you. It makes a big difference when the fish are hitting. So you know, I mean, we're catching fish here just nonstop. And again, this is like painting. You know, you take advantage of the situation once you've done the preparation. And we've got a couple things going on here. I've got a Shimano Compre eight foot three inch telescoping rod which is just soft enough to not rip a lot of hooks out unless you're country steep on that one bad day. <laughs> and, but yet it's, it's, uh, it's got enough backbone, you know, to get these things in, but it's soft enough that you're not gonna rip those fish out. It's, it's kind of a, you don't need a fancy rod, but it is nice, this has a really good reel seat. It's, it's much more durable than other things that I've used in the past. And that handle there is gonna be a lot more forgiving in the, um, in the rod holders for, you know, getting wear and tear. But then we've got a good line counter here. We've got the reel calibrated. Check out our video on calibrating the reel because you want the counter to be accurate. And we've got 20 pound Sunline Supernatural. Nope, we got another one. Inside line, I see them. We told you about this earlier, you didn't believe me. That's our other deep line is going right now. These fish, maybe it's because it's getting a little later in the morning. We did not start early today, but um, the fish are going down a little bit. And we saw that because we didn't sell out. But back to the rod and reel deal. It really is important to have the system. You don't have to spend millions of dollars on these things, but it is important, like with that line. I really, really prefer, and I, I had a guy actually on Instagram just send me a message when I gave him the, told him what I was doing, and he said it was like four to one over the braided line that he was using. So I really prefer for, for board fishing like this, monofilament. Oh, we got another one on this one too. Ooh, we've got two, we've got a double, ooh. I'm gonna go ahead and hit a waypoint here on the old bird. But that monofilament, that extra stretch, it actually gives you a different action in the water and it's a lot more forgiving. You lose a lot less fish, but you get a lot more bites too. And that 20 pound is actually gonna ride a little bit shallower than what a lot of the dive charts are showing you at. Now 16 pound, which people think is crazy, but that's 0.013 diameter on the Sunline Supernatural. It's actually a little bit smaller than the dive charts. So, I prefer the 20 just because I'm out here beating and grinding on this stuff every day and I have to just change my line a lot less. So if you're really worried about um, getting the max amount of depth, definitely go up to 16, but just be aware you're probably gonna have to change it a lot more frequently. 
slack is bad. Fish coming to the boat, good. Fish coming to the boat, good. That's the perfect eater right there. Call that a Wisconsin wall hanger. That's a shot at my Wisconsin buddies. You really want to get fire up saying that, you know, Brett Favre is terrible and, you know, Packers suck. I had to really get those guys going. You know, the, the time to experiment is not when you're not catching fish. You know, that's when I like to go to my confidence stuff. I mean, we're just straight up catching them. It's just a hot mess out here. So we're going to switch things around. Like, we know what's working. But let's see, you know, maybe we can find out what doesn't work in these circumstances. Or, you know, maybe we can catch them even faster, which I doubt that's possible today. But we can find out maybe if we get you know, some better fish down there. You know, so far the better fish has just been coming deeper. But maybe we're not high enough, so we start moving those leads around. I, I can't stress enough. Experiment when you're catching hot and heavy. It's hard to do, but that's what separates the men from the boys. Folks at home, folks at home. This phone can get you in trouble, I'm going to tell you right now, but guess who we've got coming. Yeah, wait a minute. Oh my gosh, is this country Steve? No. Are, we, we've got, we're, we, we have a video going right now, <laughs> and I was like, can I call country Steve? And then I didn't hit speaker enough because we're catching fish so fast. I mean, even the camera guy was seeing fish bites. That's how amazing it's been. <laughs> so here, here, yeah, he must be using crankbaits. Yeah, we were. Um, so here's the deal. <laughs> we, we were, <laughs> dude, that was, a, that was a shot of the camera guy. He didn't catch it, I understand. That was mean. But so we, I'm not gonna lie to you, we were making fun of Country Steve a little bit and fish loss. I lost one, even though I had four on by myself and it's just been a shit show. But anyway, we were wondering if this was your horseshoe or if you were gonna voodoo doll me. And the conclusion I came to is, is you were gonna say that it was horseshoe I because see, now you I know I smoked it. I sent you a video. I oh. sent you a video and was in communication with you. So of course you would have <laughs> But I can't show these people what that video was because it makes Country <laughs> Reese look like a saint. No, no, country Reese wouldn't have anything to buffer that. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> oh, oh, oh mi middle board. board going like a champ. Look at that. Oh, I'm going to talk to you while we're reeling this in country, Steve, just in case in case you're good with that. It has been an absolute dumpster fire. We've, we've burnt no gas, and we've got like 30 in the boat in an hour here, just absolutely nonstop. So we were just wondering if, you know, because of your communication with that Instagram girl the other day, if that was, or this morning, really, if that was going to be like you, you, yeah, you were going to say that that was your your horseshoe. Camera guy said you, you, yeah, yeah. But we were wondering if you were going to like put a voodoo doll because you weren't here. There was going to be like some like chick drama of like if I'm not there, you can't catch them. You know? No, no, no. I know better than that. No, you got all my karma because I ended up staying home because I was up all night. So. No so kidding. Like, yeah, so I don't know. Are you I pregnant? Mexican food, twenty chips, corn chips, and the grease. You know, me and uh, me and Country Steve had Mexican date last night. Yep. To not not Carmen Electra or anything, but it was yeah we did. We had a number seventy three Casas Los Palmas. Yeah, there was no Carmen Electra, but there was a Hottie Lookalike that came by. There was. I'm not going to say what might have happened. Any rate, um, we're we're fishing here. That's what we're talking about. We're fishing. I'm actually landing one as we're talking here. But uh, do you do you have any parting things that you could give us here? Because I'm going to land this wall. I hopefully, and if you give me some karma. <laughs> I think we're gonna close this. We're gonna close this out. We're headed for the barn at this. We're gonna between country Steve giving me a yeah boy. There's only two things you need out here. You need really three things. You need your hummingbird. You need some crankbaits. And you need a little bit of country Steve. There you go. I'm gonna call it. Walk off. We're out. Country Steve's out. I'm out. We're done. <laughs>